Hey there, this is Ona with the Art of Awakening. Welcome back. And please pardon my wet hair. I just jumped out of the shower and I suddenly got inspired to do a video for you guys. Um, going to do a quick energy update, maybe pull a couple cards. And um, I just want to introduce you. This is my new uh, studio space. Uh, I finally got some watercolor studio space. Really happy about it. I'm working on a portrait commission. It's a can't see it very well yet because it's just started, but it's a young man and three dogs. And uh, been really enjoying this and um, I guess before we get into the reading or energy update I uh, just wanted to kind of um, just say if you are in a situation where things are kind of haywire that happened to me this summer um, I had been in a space that I thought was going to be my forever home <laughs> and it ended up I just kind of spirit booted me out of there and it was kind of upsetting it was traumatic it was kind of crazy for a while, but I am really thrilled with what Spirit had in store with me. I've never had such beautiful studio space and um, I have this whole place to myself, loving it. So if, if you are in a place that's that's a little, you know, challenging right now, just know, um, you know, Spirit does have good things in store for you. So just kind of hold that faith. Um, you know, just keep your peace through it as much as you can. And there's, there's something better for you on the other side. So, um, so that kind of re re kind of ties into what I'm saying about like the energy that I'm feeling right now, um, and, and and again not not just for myself. I'm just kind of tuning into the collective here, and not everybody is always going to be exactly in the same spot. But it's like I think for my soul tribe, this is a, a, a period of integration right now. A lot of us have come through months or even years of. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of lessons, a lot of trials, um, you know, just working through a lot of energy. And I think there's probably a lot more to come. I'm kind of feeling like in the, the next few months or years, there's going to be, a, it could be kind of a roller coaster up and down kind of thing. I'm being shown sort of turbulence. Um, but it's also, a, I'm being shown, it's like we can maintain our own sense of stillness and peace within it all okay and part of what's happening right now is we're being given just a little bit of a respite a little bit of a, a um you know a little lull between the storms right now um really great time for integration and also what i'm getting is like really pick and choose what you're you're putting your energy towards um, because it's really, really easy to get spread out and the message is coming through loud and clear. It's like we're each on this planet for a purpose and right now it, there's been like there's we're really opening the earth is opening up for or the collective energy is opening up for um, big shifts to happen towards a better world. Right. And we each have our own place in that we each have our own role to play it's sort of like we're a big beehive right and each little bee has her own little little jobs to do um and you know spirit will tell you exactly what that is but it's also really important to tune into that and to be aware that there are going to be many many things asking for your energy and some of them you'll know right away that's just not from me but others are going to be very compelling um, you know, oh, I should do that. Or, you know, you might even want to do it. So it's really important to, to tune into what is it that is really the primary thing that you're here to do. It may be one or two things, uh, one or two directions that, that, um, you're being really called to do in a big way. Um, and keep aware of distractions from that. Okay. Because, we're really being called to step into our own power and think of light. If you have a laser beam compared to something like, like a candle that's all over the directions, there's time for, you know, that, but sometimes it's going to be more powerful to just sort of focus into one direction or, you know, or at most two things It may be family and, a, you know, a particular thing at work or something. Right. Um, but if you're trying to do 10 things and spread your energy into all those things, none of them is going to be absolute. Okay. None of them is going to be done to the level at which you're really capable of doing. Um, if you have a soul, um, 
sole purpose kind of thing that you're working on, consider what you might want to let go of or, or need to let go of in order to really, you know, put your energy into where it needs to go for that to blossom and unfold. Okay. Um, so that's a, that's kind of the biggest thing that's happening is in, in terms of what I'm tuning into is, is really, you know, this is a good time to reflect and to start prioritizing. One play. Okay. So I'm going to pull, um, a card from my spirit animal deck here. This is the spirit animal awareness deck. I'm going to leave the link to that below. And, um, so if you're enjoying this and you haven't subscribed yet, um, uh, take a second and hit that little subscription bell. Um, actually you can just hit the like, and if you hit the bell, then you'll get notified of the videos as they come up. I always appreciate new subscribers and old subscribers. Um, I, I, I absolutely love all of you. So <laughs> let's see what's, uh, what Spirit's going to give us here in terms of cards. And this is just for this coming, let's say this coming week, this coming period here. This period that we're in, I have cat. So here's the cat card. Right, a little bit of the light so you can see it a little better. Okay, so kitty cat, let me see what's coming forward for her. Um, yeah, we all know cats are independent, right? So it's this balance between, and you know, they also have this little balance, right? They're very good at landing their feet, you know, just they're very graceful. So it's like moving with grace in terms of feeling like, what is it that you are called to do and, and your own independence without turning it into something that's self-serving, right? Um, so finding that balance there. Uh, we want to still maintain an open heart. Um, you know, be there for others who need us, but really keep in mind that ultimately, if you are not following your own heart and your own purpose, it's not actually serving others, right? Um, so, so finding that balance. And again, this is a really good time of year. We just passed the equinox, so we're in Libra season. So this really is all about balance. Cat is a wonderful, wonderful Libra kind of animal, a very kind of just a sweet, kind of affectionate, also the balance thing going on. Um, so looking at that independence. I'm a, a, I've been pulling a lot of these Michael card, cards from a Michael deck. Lately I've been pulling one every day and I'm finding that they're very spot on as well. This is one that I pulled this morning. It's Lean on God and the Angels for Support. I'm getting that, that one seems to pop up a lot lately. So know that we do have divine support, that um, your guides are always with you. And, um, you know, that that's always there if you're, you know, in a place where you're feeling uh, sad, lonely, hopeless. Um, you know, we all get there from time to time. Uh, just kind of remember that you do have a support from a lot, a lot of places. And sometimes, sometimes all we need to do is get a little more sleep. <laughs> um, we're going into the dark part of the year where the body wants to sleep. So don't forget that that is often the, the, the biggest part of the issue if we, if we run into those, those little glitches in life. So let's see what Michael wants to tell us. Um, right, energy healing work, all right. So thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Okay, um, we all have it within us. We all have the ability to heal within us. It's innate, it's part of our DNA. Um, so again, that's just taking the time to really tune in to your body. That's the first part is like this awareness is uh, integral to healing, okay? So paying attention to your needs, what your heart is actually telling you to do. Um, being aware of even procrastination. Sometimes it's like we know we want to do something and then there's this like, oh, I can't go there, right? <laughs> okay, maybe that's something to bring that energy healing work into because that that's, that's really, you know, it's not yours, right? It's not really you. It's not your higher self. Your higher self is in the flow. Okay. So the message that I got this morning was you are the flow. You're the flow. 
Okay, so if you're finding yourself stuck or a little bit, remind yourself, I am the flow. I am the flow. Okay, and sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, procrastination, you're just a lie. You're just a lie. Okay, I am the flow and let's get on with it. Right? So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you have anything to add, add it to the comments below. I would love to hear your insights as well and it'll help other people if you share share what's coming through for you. So have a wonderful weekend, wonderful day, and catch you again soon.